Hello and welcome back to Sales Funnels Made Easy. Today I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily set up reoccurring payments and click funnels using Stripe. Now, you have to do it in a very specific order. If you do it out of order, you're going to get an error message on your payment page. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to set up a Stripe account. If you don't already have one, go ahead and set it up. You need to create a product over in Stripe. You need to create both a, pro a real product and a test product. And I'll show you why in just a moment. And then you need to go ahead and hook everything up on the sales product page. So let's go ahead and get right into that. So go ahead and create a free account over on Stripe if you haven't already done so. I think you should have is a notepad or a Google Doc with a name and an ID section. We are going to copy and paste the name and the ID that we give our product here for quick reference in just a moment. I'll show you why you need that in a second. So let's jump over to Stripe. We are going to go over to products. We're going to click add product in the top. And we're just going to fill out some basic information. Uh, let's call it, let's just call it this Escape the Cubicle t-shirt. Uh, we are going to give it standard pricing. Um, you can do some of these other things, but I recommend just leaving it with standard if you're doing reoccurring pricing. Then we're going to give it a price. Let's say it's $99. Then you want to change your denomination. I'm using US dollar. Make sure that it's on recurring. And then you can change the billing period to daily. So you could charge someone $99 per day all the way up to custom. We're going to leave it at monthly. So we're going to charge someone $99 a month and we'll send them a, a t-shirt. And then down here, you want to give your product a nickname. So we're going to call it, let's call it, I'd like to copy and paste this just to make our life a little bit easier, but it can't have spaces or dashes. Uh, so what we would do, I'm just going to delete a lot of this. I'm going to delete that, delete that there, delete that. And then we should be good to go. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to put it right here in my ID. And then I am going to go back over here, scroll all the way up, copy this, and we are going to put it in the name. The reason being is you wanna have this exact name and ID when you turn on test mode over on ClickFunnels. So um, we just wanna jump over, we're okay with everything, and then we're going to click Save Product. Now, I should note that we are not in test mode right now. What we want to do, if you look on the left hand side here, the test mode is set to off. We now need to go to turn test mode on. And the reason why we want to do that is when we test to make sure that everything hooked, is hooked up and worked, we're not actually charging ourselves or somebody else for, for testing the product. So now that we have test mode turned on, we want to copy and paste the same information into our test mode as we did in our, our live mode. So I'm just going to copy this over here just like this. So we'll copy jump back over to stripe paste that in we are going to leave everything else the exact same we're going to charge 99 dollars um, monthly reoccurring and then jump back over here and i want to copy this right here then jump back over to stripe one more time and paste that in and we are when we go over to click funnels to hook everything up we want to look for escape the cubicle id and name so that it's very clear and obvious to us so we just go ahead and we save this product and now we need to go over to ClickFunnels and hook everything up. One interesting thing with ClickFunnels, and you'll see if you don't have it set up properly in Stripe, you'll get an error message that says something to the effect of no plan selected. Now that we're back in ClickFunnels, you see here at the top, it says products. We have to be on a sales page, or excuse me, we have to be on an order page in order for this to work. If we're on a sales page, that products link disappears. If we're on an opt-in page, we don't have that option either. So you have to be on a sales page or else this isn't going to work. So we click on product. We are going to add a product. We're going to select Stripe and then subscription and then go over to save and next in green. We can call this, what do we call it? We call it escape the cubicle. We'll just leave that. Uh, we can do a price override. And then when we scroll down here, it says Stripe plan. Escape the cubicle is what we selected and, and gave our name, uh, gave our product name, that name. Uh, so escape the cubicle, billing description. You can just, uh, I like to, this isn't necessarily mandatory, but um, it's good habit to create. And then we want to just go save and next. And we're going to go through and we're just going to blow through the rest of this and just hit save and next. And when we get to the end, we'll test and make sure that everything worked. Normally you want to do an in email fulfillment. Uh, but like I said, I'm just kind of running through this quickly, save a next, save a next. And then what we can do 
is we can go back over to steps here and then we can go down to sales page where we were before go to products and then if we look it says plan 99 every month so we know that it's connected to our stripe account all right guys so it is as easy as that be sure to like subscribe bring the bell notification of this video or any other video on my channel has helped you out in any way be sure to check back tomorrow for more information on how to build sales funnels thanks for watching and we will see you tomorrow